Well, good morning, everyone, and how are you doing? That's great to hear. I'm happy. What we have here is a Toyota. Could you imagine what we're doing in the Toyota? What are we doing in the Toyota, Fernando? This little guy right here. That's right. Let me get closer because he's out of focus. So we did a video a while back on how to replace this woofer. This one. And ever since we did that video, we've been doing a ton of them. Thank you very much. We thought it would help you guys figure out how to do it. What it really did is let you guys figure out how you don't want to do it because it's a pain in the butt, right? Yeah, you gotta take the whole panel out. Or you could break it. We did have one guy said, I just broke the panel off and replaced the woofer. It was much easier. And I was like, yeah, it probably <laughs> was. But anyways, what we got going on here today or what Fernando's finishing up is putting the woofer in here. If you're watching this video and you have to do one of these, the question was always asked, what it... Ow! GoPro yeah. just hit me in the head. That was fun. So the question was asked on the factory subwoofer, what's positive and negative? Now this is a funny one. So on the factory woofer, which is right here, it's actually marked on the woofer itself, positive and negative. If you look really closely on this white area here, it shows you what's positive and negative. But in case you don't want to, the black on one side and the red on the other side are both positive. You don't want to twist them together. You need a dual voice coil woofer. That's why we use the Pioneer. It's a dual voice coil. And it's a dual two ohm voice coil because the factory is a dual two ohm voice coil. Positive on one side is going to be black. Positive on the other side is going to be red. And then of course the two remaining wires will both be negatives through their corresponding pair. All right, so he's finishing this up. While he's finishing that up, I'm getting the wiring done on this. This is a P310. Getting all the wire ready right here. I don't know if this is going to be next. I know it's here. I think we might have one or two other cars to do before that. So I'm going to walk over right now and check because I think there might be somebody waiting and I want to get their car out first. So let's, let's go. Okay, so you want the seven yeah, you want to do the seven. Yeah, with the adapter, I'm sorry. Bro. Yeah, so those, so we have the um, XRs and the regular. Okay, so show them the better ones. These are the. That's the less expensive. Those one. are the less. How much are those? Uh, I'll, have, I'll check. I'll give them a good deal. On okay, it. make sure you give them some lanyards. The, and these are the better ones right here. And those are the XRs. Oh, maybe, okay, maybe you guys could be like JP and sign too. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that increase the value by three hundred? No. no. <laughs> Here you go. Well, One of each you. color. All right, appreciate it. No problem. Okay, so silly me didn't check my battery. I was over there. Battery died. We have a trailblazer. We have four speakers to do in that. So the 110 will have to wait just a little bit longer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all these and get them set on the counter and ready so when Fernando gets the toy out of here, we can just wham bam. You know the rest. <laughs> Got the subwoofer ready to go in the car. Got the speakers out of the box. Got the car here. Let's get this thing apart and get these speakers in it. You ready, Fernando? Ready. How was your Chick-fil-A? Awesome. Chick-fil-A is good, unless you want it on Sunday. All right, let's get going. ahead and got the four speakers mounted in there as you just saw. Now the hole was a little bit too small. These Rockfords are six and a half, true six and a half, so they have a little bit bigger basket. So for that we like to use this guy right here. Got a cool auger bit on it. I just picked these up at like you know the cheap tool stores. You just go around in a circle just like you saw there and it takes off a little bit every time you go around just keep going around. It keeps the hole nice and round so you're not like just go around in a circle. Yeah, it drops right in. Put some foam on the back of the speaker. This stuff here, pick it up on Amazon if you like. It's the really thin stuff. It's like a 32nd of an inch. That way it doesn't bind up the speaker when you put it in. Okay, so this one is done. I don't know what we're doing next. Maybe the P300. We'll see. 
So we're gonna that trailblazer made me think to my installer friends out there Do you think it's kind of funny when you pull the door the bottom of the door panel up to take it off? And it's like all the speaker crap falls out It's like the, the speaker just took a dump on the, the floor and like the surround and all the foam I think that's hilarious when that happens. It's like yep. You need new speakers. We got this guy. What are we doing? I have no idea Perfect Okay one thing in life I hate more than anything in the world, frogs. I can't do frogs. I don't mind cockroaches, I can't do frogs. I don't wanna hear it. I touched the bat. Okay, frogs suck, I don't care. Razz me all you want. I hate them, don't like them, have nothing to do with frogs. Big head, big mouth, little beady eyes. Ugh, gross. It's not them, it's you. Whatever, I don't like it. All right, so this is the car we're putting the P300 in. It's a Ford Edge. We have it all set and ready to go, so we're gonna go ahead and set it in the back. We're gonna run up the driver's side, I believe, for the wiring. I think it has a factory silver because it does have the Sony system. They're opting out of doing the Amp Pro. Oh well. Can't, can't save everyone. Let's find the factory subwoofer, shall we? The factory subwoofer is right here in the corner by Fernando. And it seems like every one of these Fords we're doing, we're just testing now for fake noise because we don't know which ones they're putting it in. Some F-150s have it, some don't. I'm just not taking a chance, so we go ahead and we hook up an RTA to every one of the output and just see if it has noise. You know, we rev up the engine, we close all the doors, and as long as this thing doesn't move, we know it doesn't have fake noise, we don't worry about it. We know a lot of you guys don't have RTAs out there, that's cool, but it's real simple. If you have a voltmeter hooked up to the speaker, the volume's at zero, and you're revving up the engine and the voltage is moving, it's got fake engine noise, because there's no reason with the volume all the way down, it should be moving. It just, that doesn't make sense. Something to keep in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and get this box in there, get some power wires ran, fun stuff. So we're just finishing up this. We got the subwoofer in, as you just saw. Back is all put together. Let's go around to the front. I know I didn't film putting the fuse holder in and cutting the plastic and all that, I'm sorry. But let's take a look at the fuse holder. So if you have one of these cool edges, there is a spot down here to actually bolt in. This simple there again, simple S-bent piece of uh, quarter inch ABS. Connected, loomed, all zip tied up, ready to go. Fernando's finishing mounting the base knob, correct? Yeah, as well. You see it right it's here. It's got the airbag. The airbag so yeah. So you had to make a bracket to go around I had the airbag. To make a bracket right underneath. Oh, yeah, okay, I see it. Yep. Yeah. All right, so it is becoming more of an issue when you're going to mount these base knobs, is that you have to keep in mind that that knee buster airbag. We try to mount them in those cool little panels, you see it, but sometimes the cars just don't have panels or they don't want to drill the panel. They want it tucked out of the way because maybe they're not even going to use it. So if if you're screwing up into that, just check. Make sure there's no airbag there that you might accidentally screw into because I'm pretty sure screwing into an airbag has to be expensive. All right, guys, next on the list was this Chevy pickup. And when I say was is that we put a backup camera and a doubled in radio in it. Let me show you that real quick. This guy right here and this guy right here. Now we do have some footage of the backup camera, which I'm gonna play after I get done talking here. But we didn't talk about installing the radio. And the reason why is because we went ahead and we shot a how do you install this radio in my dash video because this is one of the cars that's requested as far as hey can you guys show me how to do this if you've got a chevy pickup and it's got that dash look for the how to install the radio in my dash video coming other than that as i like to say enjoy the footage of the backup camera install from fernando right there that guy yeah and we'll see you on the next car
finally made it here, Castle. Now we have to head over to the Jungle Cruise. We have a fast pass. Inside the boat, remain seated at all times. No eating or drinking. Parents watch your children. Children watch your parents. They're shady. We can't trust them. And we are clear to go. Say goodbye to all my friends. That's right. They don't have any. Oh no. Ambush. Get down, get down, get down. Don't worry about looking stupid. I'm doing it for you. I'm going to pull with a spear throw it back. There's no two spears on the Jungle Cruise. Next ride on the list is... Pie to the Caribbean. I love how it just said 25 minutes. I went to 45. So one of the reasons why you're willing to wait on the Pirates of the Caribbean is because it's air conditioned. And it's hot outside right now. I don't have the time. You don't have the time? You want the temperature? <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice 86 actually. It's not too bad, but it's it's hot. But I this is the app said it was supposed to be 76. Yeah, they lied. Anyways, this is air conditioned, so It's Captain Jack Sparrow we're after, and a fortune in gold! Strike your colors, you brazen witch. No need to expose your superstructure. Spacebound people.
eating lunch at Haley's favorite, the Plaza Restaurant. Let's go inside. You have to make reservations. What'd you get for lunch, Haley? Huey chips. <laughs> and what's that? A tuna sandwich. Uh, sure. Clove. And a clove. I don't know if I like these. Should have got the fries. All right, what ride are we going on? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Look at her, she's getting all antsy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what ride are we going on? Anyways, you're going on the Haunted Mansion. Spooky. I am your host, your ghost host. Hi guys, we're all on to go right This chamber has no windows. And no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. Alright guys, another fun day at Disney. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Alright, and if you notice all the weird people in the end there walking around in costumes, Disney does this not so scary Halloween bash, and it's getting ready to start. That's why we're headed out, because we don't have tickets for that goofiness. Yeah. But definitely worth being here to see some of the silliness people wear. Alright guys, as usual, you guys have a great night, and we'll see you later next time. Bye. Ooh, ooh, I farted. That was good. So that is becoming more and more of an issue when... Holy... <laughs>